Yo, what's up, guys? This is the trade recap for December 1st, 2023. Um, <clears throat> today we took three trades. Um, two of them hit TP1, then stopped on a break even, and then I took the last trade just now. And it looks like I, I just got turned into liquidity. And uh, to be honest, guys, I don't know how today's a red day. Um, because yeah, I, I just didn't when I when the price of TP one I didn't trim because I was confident in the levels it would take out like I'll show you today. So <clears throat> coming to the morning, uh, let me just do bar replay real quick if it's gonna load. All right, so let's go back to nine thirty. Something so today was a <clears throat> technically a high impact news day. We have PMI at 10 a.m. and we have Powell speaking at 11 and 2 p.m. Not it was 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. So coming in today, um, my analysis. So yesterday I was pretty bullish. If you saw my yesterday's video, I was talking about today real quickly, but it kind of changed my bias. After we took out these highs and we displaced to the downside. So, coming to the morning, so let's see what happens. So, I was actually possibly targeting these lows because if you go to standard deviation right here, oops, sorry, standard deviation right here, guys. Yeah, we were targeting this 15 minute for value gap, but also. I thought that we were targeted these lows over here, possibly these lows down here. Because after we took out these highs, displaced to the downside, I thought we were going to target lows. Um, so let me just go to 15 minute. Like, so let me just go to. I'm just, I don't know why my computer is super slow. Okay, so we were. Okay, we. This is 10 a.m. This is when news came out. Okay, my bad. I already skipped a lot. Um, so 10 a.m. news came out. Okay, we took out these highs and and we started to displace the downside. And I'll show you what happened. Where on a.m. I got I got blue bold heavy, super blue bold, and um, let's see right here. So let me set up this low. Yes, yeah, so at the time NQ right here. Had equal lows at the time. Okay, I'm gonna make this white. So at the time we had equal lows right here. NQ, we took out this high, we displaced it at a downside. Okay, so actually, let me, let me just turn off replay because this would be faster. So NQ, we took out these highs and we displaced it at a downside, and we had bearish ST if this is gonna load. Give it a sec. Uh, let's. Okay, guys, give it a sec. It's gonna load, hopefully. Yeah. So, with these two highs, we had bearish S and T. So, NQ did not take out these highs yet. So we mark it real quick. If the computer doesn't explode. Uh, what about? Yeah. So, this high right here. So right here, we had this high. So ES did take this high out. Boom. NQ did not take out this high. So this is called bearish S and T when um when two indices, for example, that correlate, so uh, ES and NQ, and if one made a lower low and the other one made a higher high, that's bearish S and T. Other way around, if let's say ES made a lower low and Q made a higher high, that's bullish S and T. So like actually, for example, right here, so NQ made a lower low, ES made a higher high, that's bullish S and T. So in this scenario, we were displacing to the downside. So I'm like, okay, I want to target these lows right here. ES actually tapped to my entry right here. Boom, tapped to my entry. But I had a limit order set for NQ targeting these equal lows. And NQ did not hit my entry. It was a couple ticks away and it did not hit it. Uh, it did tap in the other fair value gap. There was like a two minute right here. Oh God, it's going to explode. Um, <clears throat> oh, wait, a little too far. Away, my bad. Okay, Jesus Christ, computer's about to explode. Yeah, so 
two, we tapped in this. We had a big two minute right here. So then, I, but I really like this one minute entry. Why? Because we had a sweep of liquidity, break a structure to the downside, and we want to target these equal lows. And we had bearish SMT. And I'm like, okay, this is like a good trade. But ES actually did not hit the TP that I wanted to target. But ES did do 10 handles. So if you go in here to here, it's 10.25. Every trade. 10 to 11 you always want to target 10 handles so this trade was actually 10.25 handles so if you would have sold that 10 handle mark you would have made money okay so Powell came out news came out 11 a.m. and we displaced the upside so I switched my bias right here after NQ we took up the slow we formed bullish s and and we start to have break structure to upside so at the time we had this high, so my computer's probably gonna explode right now. Um, you know what? Let me just do this. Make it singular. Thank you. So at the time, ES took this high, NQ did not. So I wanted to target this high. Okay, boom. I wanted to target this high right here. And after we broke structure to the upside, right? We took out the lows. I was looking for longs. So we had a fair value gap right here, guys. We had a fair value gap right here. If I entered on a two minute, because I wanted to enter on the 50% of the one minute. So let me go back right here. Yeah, so this, we had a two minute fair value gap right here, guys. Okay, two minute, boom. Okay, two minute fair value gap, boom. Let's go back in one minute. So, um, yeah, one minute we did tap in this fair value gap right away. I did not enter here because I wanted my entry to be the 50% mark of this. And the 50% mark was just below this right here. So 50% was right here, guys. Boom, like right here. Almost tapped to it. So we got filled. We almost got stopped right away. My stop loss was at this low. And um, so I set my limit order right here. My take profit was this high. So I set longs for right here. Um, 50% mark boom my stop loss was right here so we almost got stopped out right away which would have been unfortunate take profit was this high and what I did was this so after we displaced above this high after like we, we closed the candle above this high I set my stop loss to break even because I'm like okay we have a structure shift and we're probably heading to the upside but we got stopped out and as you guys can see we said so um buy one then sell two over here it's because i added another contract because i was confident in this trade but then we just got stopped out break even and look what happened tp got hit so um even though tp1 got hit i didn't trim right here because i only had one contract and i was confident we would take the highs out and if i would have sold here i would have been up 380 dollars so missed out on 380 dollars right there and then the last two trades were on es for pm so let's see for ES what my bias was. So we go to high time frame, see the highs. All right. So after ES took up this high, right? You'd be questioning yourself, like, okay, Roman, don't you want to go lower? Yes, we do. But we, I'm waiting for displacement. We did not have a displacement to the upside. We kept having break shocks to the upsides. So what was my analysis for PM? So check this out. So for PM right here. We had a one hour fair value gap right here, but we didn't tap into it. So but if I go to one hour, the computer will explode. So going to the PM session, we took out the slows. We did a break of structure in a one minute and a one minute time frame. And if you go on ES and Q, we had bearish SMT with these highs and these lows. So NQ right here, sorry, ES right here made a lower low. NQ right here um, made a higher low right here. See that? So NQ right here made a higher low. Oh, oh, right here. So okay, I'm like, okay, we took out this low right here. We have bullish S and T. We have a one minute break of structure. So I'm like, okay, so I don't want to enter long on this Favela gap. I want to wait for a bigger confirmation. So after we respect this one minute Favela gap, I took my first entry right here in this fair value gap. This is my first entry. Boom. So after we re we respect this one minute Favela gap. I'm like, okay, um, 
I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to target these highs. And my TP is with this. So my TP1 was right here. Um, so right here is my TP1. Let me make it green so it's easier to see. That was my TP1. My TP2 was going to be... So we had this 5-minute fair value gap that I should have sold on. Because right? I, I was really confident that we would take all the highs in this trade. But my TP2 is going to be this 5-minute fair value gap. And my TP3 was going to be 10 handles. So 10 handles was right here. Um, so 10 handles was right here. Actually, wait. This was 10 handles. One sec. Where did I enter? No, okay, never mind then. So I guess uh, my, TP, my TP2 was, will be this high. But so my issue was with this trade was that for a long time we were consolidating in this area because we were in the 25 minute for value gap at the time. So at the time, guys, we were stuck in this 25 minute. And I told the Discord, I'm like, okay, if we don't break this 20, 25 minute, we're going to have a big, big trouble we're probably gonna go ahead lower we almost got stopped out twice we almost got stopped out right away and here so we, once you broke through the 25 minute i'm like okay we broke through the 25 minute now we're in this big one minute right here i'm like okay guys we got this place through we got this place through and we did at first but the second we tapped into tp1 and this five minute for value guy we just dumped and i guess i should have trimmed right here because at the peak i was up how much was i up at peak um, two contracts. I was up five hundred dollars at peak. So today, if if I sold twice on the uh, both TPs, would have been basically up nine hundred dollars today. But I didn't. I got stopped out break even. Boom. And then I took the second trade right here. I took a re-entry. And look at this. We hit TP one when I got stopped out. So I took another re-entry right here on this fair value gap. Because I thought that, okay, we took out this sell side sweep. We took out this low. We displaced the upside. Okay, and I set my stop loss at the body of this candle. And my TP would be this high. Boom, my TP would be this high. And unfortunately, we got stopped out again. And TP1 got hit. So, pretty unfortunate today. I Basically, I should have just trimmed. But the first trade, I only had one contract. And I was confident we would take the high, which we did. This trade, I did not trim because I was confident we'd take out the high. So far, we didn't. We have 17 minutes of market left. Um, pretty unfortunate day because we were up a lot and then we ended up being red. But um, hopefully next week will be good. Let's see if what next week we'll have um, news-wise. So, okay, Monday, we have anything for USD? No, Monday looks clean. We have PMI again on Tuesday. Um, a fifteen. We have not not a far um, an, um employment change. Okay. Thursday unemployment claims, and then Friday. What do we have? Unemployment rate, non farm employment change. So basically, should be all. And we have a uh, consumers uh, sentiment. So next week we should be much better than this. But unfortunately, that this week was pretty red. Um, only trade that I was not happy with was um. Not, was it yesterday or two days ago? I think it was two days ago. Yeah, two days ago's trade where um, I kind of had the wrong bias. But today, I, I had the right bias in all the trades. Just that should have trimmed that TP or we, we got stopped at break even. So that was unfortunate. But let's do daily bias for the coming week. So I'm just going daily. Let me turn this off. So I'm on ES right now. Let's see daily bias. All right. So this today we this place high to the upside. So if we close above this high, looking like we're gonna take out these two highs next week. So depending on how next uh, 16 minutes we go, most likely if you close above, we're gonna take out these highs um, this following week. But after we do that, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens because the next high we have, next high is like all the way up here. So after, if we pass this high, which I think we will next week, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Are we going to keep going forward? Are we going to displace the downside? We'll see. We don't, we don't know yet. But if we close above this high on a daily time frame, we should be good. But that, that was pretty much it for today for trade recap. Should have been a green day, but it was red, unfortunately.
So can't do anything about that. But I'll see you guys uh, on Monday. Peace.